Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Baldwins, the recipe, and our final episode, The Revel. This episode was written by Scott Hamner, the son of Earl Hamner, who created the show, and directed by Harry Harris, who probably directed more episodes of The Waltons than any other director. The Revel was the very last episode that we filmed that was aired on the ninth season. At the time we filmed this, we didn't know it was going to be the last episode we would film. We didn't find out that the show was canceled until we were on hiatus between what would have been our ninth and 10th season had there been a 10th season. We did come back the following year and do three TV reunion movies. And then it was 10 years later before we did three more reunion movies. The Baldwin sisters and their papa's recipe were first introduced in The Homecoming when John Boy, along with Reverend Hawthorne Dooley, stop by the Baldwins in search of gas so that John Boy can continue his journey to search for his daddy. Here, Hawthorne, played by the incredible Cleavon Little, shares recipe with Miss Mamie, Miss Emily, and John Boy as they sing and celebrate the holiday spirit before he breaks the news that they need to find some gas. <laughs> Over the seasons, the recipe was featured in quite a number of episodes. We saw various versions of the recipe machine. We had different people, sometimes relatives of the Baldwins who came and, and hoped to somehow take over control of the recipe themselves. Someone tried to blow up the recipe machine. Uh, and there were different shysters who kind of came through with visions of what, how they could benefit and with, through greed wanted to control the recipe, but it never happened and it remained in control of the Baldwin sisters throughout the entire episodes. The recipe, as some of you have noted, changed color over the seasons. Sometimes it was sort of a pale yellow or golden color. That would have been either lemonade or watered down tea or perhaps some sort of juice. In some cases it was clear, like a vodka or a gin, and that would have been just water. Initially, the only members of the family who sampled the recipe were Grandpa, who really loved it, uh, and sometimes John might have had a nip here and there. Uh, the children, of course, were too young, and Mama and Grandma were very much opposed to the recipe in any way, shape, or form. In fact, hearkening back to the homecoming, Olivia was beside herself when she thought that John Boy had brought recipe into the house and actually apologized for her misunderstanding. The recipe became synonymous with celebrations, particularly ones that involved the Baldwin sisters. It is a little hard to believe that they actually didn't know that this recipe they were making was a form of alcohol. Mm, did they really know? Who knows? But if they'd been had sampling it since they were young and had never tasted real alcohol, perhaps they just thought it made them feel better. <laughs> and I don't think they ever over imbibed. And perhaps if they were sampling as often as they were, they were pretty immune to its effects. But we certainly saw samples of people over the seasons getting quite tipsy from the recipe, including the actress and the Reverend, Reverend Fordwick, when he inadvertently had too much of the recipe. So it was a bit of a downfall for some people in certain scenes, uh, but it was a lively part of the show. And in this episode, The Revel, it is somewhat of a focus of the episode because the Baldwin sisters are planning to have a reunion, a high school reunion from their finishing school. And they're inviting all of their former classmates and even the Trumans are going to be issued an invitation. There was another episode where they wanted to mail the recipe to the present. I believe at that point it was President Roosevelt as a Christmas present, <laughs> which of course couldn't be transported through the mail. Uh, so this particular episode, they're going to throw a big ball to celebrate and the recipe will be a main feature of the celebration. The exterior of the Baldwin's house was on what we called Columbia Ranch. It was kind of the Warner Ranch. It was just a few blocks from 
Warner Brothers main studio and there were various different exteriors on that lot as well as some sound stages. So the Baldwin's house was there. The interior of the Baldwin's, you didn't see very many of those rooms. Those were actually on stage 26 where we did all of our main interiors, all of the interior. The Walton house was on stage 26 as was the interior of Ike Godsey's store. And later on when the shed came into play as a place that there were scenes, that was also on stage 26. Needless to say, stage 26 was a rather large stage. In preparation for this ball that the Baldwin sisters are going to throw, most of the Waltons get volunteered. Uh, Mary Ellen gets volunteered to help make applesauce cake from Mama's recipe. And then Elizabeth gets volunteered to help make the invitations. Ben and Jim Bob get volunteered to serve as valets to park all of the cars. Uh, so it, there's kind of some fun moments where the siblings volunteer each other. And of course, the Baldwins are so grateful that we all feel that we can't back out from those promises. We even let them use Mama's sewing machine so that they can create new ball gowns and as they are not quite as adept with the machine, the sisters end up, Mary Ellen and Aaron end up helping and Elizabeth end up helping them out with getting their ball gowns made. I can't believe the number of costume changes that particularly the Baldwin sisters had in this episode. Clearly it covered numbers of days and every time we saw them, they were in yet another wonderful costume. As it turns out, none of their guests are able to attend their party and they find themselves alone in their house celebrating on their own. However, word has gotten around the community that no one was there. So everyone gathers together to help support these ladies who have become such an important part of the community. So in some ways, I think it was fitting that the final episode that we aired and that we shot involved this celebration that we all shared together at the end of the episode and more dancing and a toast of the recipe. And so in honor of the Baldwins, the recipe and the Waltons, I give you a toast. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching.